Hi there, today's focus is Let's Set Sail, which is a stamp set which comes with a punch. We'll also be using the cloud punch and the banner pick punch with the cards today. Let's get started stamping. This is Granny Apple Green and we will stamp off once for this sail and we're gonna use the Calypso Coral for the other sail and Knight of Navy for the boat all of which we stamp off first. Also the sentiment is in Knight of Navy. Then we get the punch ready and sometimes the orientation of the stamp is difficult to punch so you have to use a sticky note to help you hold the paper. And sometimes you need to trim it off a little bit. Adventure awaits is the sentiment for this card. Now we're going to make a fun background with lots of texture. This punch actually cuts out three different sizes, half inch, three fourths inch, and an inch. And we'll need 10 of these strips that are half inch by four. And we're going to make a weave. So every other one is on top and underneath. I used the grid paper to make sure that my strips were straight. This is kind of a time consuming process, so I'm going to speed through the recording and come back with it almost done because I think you'll get the hang of it. and just lightly lift up the edges that are not connected and I'll adhere those down. Look at all that texture. Isn't that fun? We're gonna also use the dimensionals to give it some height. Now this card was designed to be a four by four but I wanted to make it into a standard size card. So the pool party piece that it's applied to is four by four inches. And just a dot of the liquid glue at the top and bottom of each sail is all you need. And then I'll use dimensionals. place my cloud first before I put my boat down so I can determine where to adhere the boat. And like I said, I wanted to make it into a standard card, so I'm using some designer paper, Waves of the Ocean, just little half inch strips. I think they're half inch by three inch. Just to fill up the rest of the B 
base a little bit better, but I think that adds a nice touch. Now my next card, we're going to be using the stitch rectangle die and the layered circle dies. Go ahead in and stamp my sentiment first. We're, I put texture on uh, just some white cardstock uh, strips that are one and a quarter inches. And just cut diagonal just to give a fun background. And then we use the T Boutique Designer Series papers, and we're just gonna punch the cells, just the cell portion, in all different colors. We're gonna do five of these boats. So just pick five Designer Series paper, different colors. Then I wanted to use the In Good Taste Designer Series paper for the actual boat itself, which is a wood grain. So it's kind of tricky figuring out which way the grain I wanted to go on my boat. So. That's what I'm doing here. punched out and then the assembling take your pick tool is perfect for all these little bits so much easier to pick up with the putty end of the take your pick tool so then you'll assemble all the sailboats then we're going to use the Stampin dimensionals on the card front which is crumb cake that one is uh, cut out with the stitched rectangle dies. Then we'll just use the liquid adhesive to adhere the um, textured pieces to the crumb cake. Now, all the instructions will be at the end. I didn't have the particular uh, embossing folder that's on the instructions in the end, so I just used the bark. Be sure to cut the edges of your dimensionals to make them easier to use. You don't want to waste any little bit. these cards because there's so much texture to them. If you're interested in Color Street nail strips, I also have a website under genierainy.com. You can find the direct link to my Color Street website. And then I forgot, realized here that I forgot to put the twine. So I took a long piece, folded it in half and tied a knot in it, which I want to be in the front of my card. I'm gonna show you a trick to cover up. If you forget your ribbon or your twine, we're just gonna take a strip of half inch white cardstock and cover up our twine or ribbon in the back. Of course, my knot slipped, and so I had to redo it. <laughs> Always when you're on camera, right? <laughs> there we go, that covers up my mistake. There's the second card. There you go, two fun cards from the Let's Set Sail bundle. Thanks for joining me today. 
lots of wonderful sentiments. Here's the instructions. You can either screenshot or pause and write down the um, supplies that were used. Thanks again. Bye.